fascism. The speaker proclaimed the greatness that promised them a glorious future. Once a rabble-rousing journalist, this charismatic speaker became their leader, it gave their base the promise of action. In 1922, some 30,000 fascists descended on the nation's capital in a show of force, the so-called March on Rome. Without firing a shot, Mussolini was handed the reins of power with a bold, if politically inexperienced, new leader. Mussolini loved big rallies, offering big promises and simple solutions to complex problems. He whipped his followers into a mass frenzy. It was like hypnosis, who was terrific at using his body, his facial expressions and language to reach their hearts. <laughs> The hand gesture, or a facial expression of it. An actor, typical posture with his imposing chain. He certainly had a vision of himself as a man of genius with a capital G. With a populace tired of dysfunctional government, Mussolini rose to power with the promise of action. It was against the law to talk against the fascist party. <laughs> Hitler led the ragtag revolutionaries in the beer hall, planning to overthrow the government. He's saying that democracy doesn't work, that it's a flawed system that can be manipulated by outside forces for their own gain. Mm -hmm. He's blaming communists for it. He promised them a bright future. He promised them work. Anger by his rage and his repetitive rhetoric. But the performance he delivered was a big artistic show. He repeated a lie endlessly and he didn't make it a small lie, he made it a big lie and he kept hammering it into their heads. He also dumbed it down as much as possible. His simplistic promises were made to order for his political base. More prosperity and expanded borders. Deutschland, Deutschland, uber alles. Germany, Germany above all. In 1932, the Nazi party won only about a third of the seats in parliament. But Hitler managed to take power, partnering with conventional conservative politicians who figured they could control him. Hitler followed a playbook that has inspired autocrats left and right ever since. Much of Germany was swept up in Hitler's charismatic vision. Crowds adored him. He was their leader, their Fuhrer. For several years, increasingly elaborate celebrations of Nazi culture, ideology, and power took place right here. Fascist dictators understood the propaganda power of big rally. Inspirational images filmed at the 1934 Nuremberg rallies shows the enormous power of propaganda.